Hello YouTube, JediMon2005 here with a review of Kamen Rider Double Memory Gadget Series 04, the Beetle Phone. Right here in its memory, I picked this up from CS Toys a while back. Um, this is the one that uh, is used by Kamen Rider Axel as opposed to the Stag Phone, which is used by Double. Uh, when you take a look at the box, you'll notice it has double on it. That's because this came out before Axel debuted, and they didn't want to spoil it. So, um, but it is in fact used by Axel, uh, especially if you watch the show, you'll see it. And um, I happen to like this one better than the Stag Phone, and uh, I will show you why. Um, but it's got this nice blue color, which, for me being blue, my favorite color is already a plus. Um, you open it up, it's got your standard cell phone screen with Sunday, 8 a.m., doubles time slot right there. Shameless self-promotion, and I love it. I approve of this. Um, it's got the keypad arranged all fun, which uh, I just think is a cool way of arranging the keypad. Um, this button down here, which is the memory release button, and this button here, which activates the sounds. Um, and this is the memory. It's got the uh, Kabuto Mushi, uh, the uh, what's it called, uh, Kabuto Beetle, and uh, it says Beetle on it when you push a little button. Beetle, Beetle. and uh, no light, being a gadget memory, but it has excellent, excellent sound. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stick this thing into the Beetle phone. Um, one thing about this one as opposed to the stack phone, um, if you notice the stack phone has this button here which will activate the sounds when it's closed, um, or in beetle form, this one doesn't have it. Um, I believe the button's actually be supposed to be to activate the sounds when it's in beetle mode and, but I will show you why it's unnecessary when we do the transformation. But let's get, uh, some of the sounds out of the way first. There's a lot of sounds here. All right, I think we've covered them all. Let's try one more. Yeah, that should be pretty much all the sounds. Um, very nice, uh, very nice uh, sound level, and just the sounds in general are real nice. Um, so that's cool, and also just. Uh, in, if you look on the inside, detailing wise, it it's well detailed. Like pretty much, ev pretty much, all right, everything that uh, they put out. And if you if you can get a good look at the sticker here, you can see it has a little mail icon, a uh, where is it at? The signal uh, icon for your phone and a battery logo, and it also has down here the little, little option things that don't don't anything, but it looks cool. It says phone. Um, gear, data, mail, and address. So they really went uh, all out making this look like an actual cell phone, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it into a beetle. So let's open this up, and we're going to pull this apart, and take this middle piece, fold it all the way up, that's going to be our horn. Then we're going to take and fold these insides out, those are legs. Fold them forward. Fold this. Let's see. Fold this back. And so that, that uh, the part that's from the keypad is on top of this portion. So bend it back. Fold it forward. And there's the beetle. And then these pieces here, if you want, can open up and become wings. Um, so he can fly around like you see on the show. And it's just makes a little noise. Not this one doesn't on the TV it does. And uh you can see back here it's uh extra pieces to make it look like legs so that he has a full insect six legs. Which is kinda cool that they made sure to give him the right number of legs. I like science, what can I say? Um 
it's got this piece here as well, which allows you to connect it to uh, trigger magnum and uh, what's it called? The metal shaft. Uh, so that's always good. Uh, looks a little funny when you do it, but hey, what can you do? It can't be, you know, a thousand percent awesome, just a hundred percent. So that's good. So uh, let's go ahead and turn him back into a phone. Close that. Close that. Um, I'm going to push this button here and pull this out. It does um, the same thing as the other gadget memories. So we'll take the Cyclone and um, the light's going to come from here. So I'm going to hold it this way. It activates a maximum drive. Uh, push the button. Now that everyone watching this has been thoroughly blinded, we'll go ahead and pull this out. But um, size-wise, in comparison to uh, Stag Phone, it's same length, same height. Um, only real uh, major difference is back here. Um, the Beetle Phone has these wings, and it curves under. Stag Phone has like these legs that stick out, making it a little hard to hold in phone mode, which is another plus for Beetle Phone. Um, which is why, you know, if you can get both, get both, by all means. They're both awesome. If you can only get one, pick up the little blue guy here. Um, just overall looks a little bit better. Um, but still, you know, not going to knock the stag phone. It's a cool item. Um, like I said, I bought this from CS Toys. They just got in, uh, if I'm right, six more added to the store. Go pick it up. You'll probably notice as a running theme, all these videos. Pretty much everything is bought from CS Toys. Um, so, you know, and I will continually promote them in all my videos because that's just the kind of person that I am. Um, but that's pretty much it. Go ahead, buy it. Um, yeah, that's all it. You know, rate, stop it, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time. This is Jedi Man 2005. I will stop it. I will see you later.